When you were in prison, were you thinking, one of the ways of surviving and thinking, am I going to get out of this, is I will make works of art about this, or was that not in your mind? When I was in prison, I would never think I can come out. The situation was so severe, and they clearly told me I would be there for over 10 years. That time, being an artist or not artist, it doesn't sound very important. But what can make me satisfied is if I have speak my mind clearly before I get into this situation. The answer is yes. So I would have no regret if I have to stay that long for that, for that reason. So when you're released from prison, after two years or so, sacred is made. Where does the idea, how does that, that idea generate? Uh, once I was released, people, the curiosity is not really about uh, why you're there, and, uh, but rather how they treat you. And uh, it's very too hard to describe that, you know, how they treat you. They never beat me, and then they, they feed me well, and they have doctors measure my my physical condition every day, sometimes seven times a day. You know, it's like you check into a scientific center or, or you know, you're being so heavily monitored and uh, you can see how much care they, they, they give to you. But of course, it's extremely uh, tough psychological uh, warfare. It becomes quite clear talking to you that you're very thoughtful, but quite restrained. But I wonder how much anger fuels your art. I, I couldn't see this uh, immediate anger. Even I put my prisoner situation into those cases, I reduce it to 50% of the scale to make people feel that it's more like, like a play rather than a reality. And. Uh, you know, I think in art, you have to uh, transform your primitive uh, feelings into something which has clear language and can be, uh, the story can be clearly told to another person. And of course, you cannot force anybody to thinking or to feel the same way. But you have a responsibility to make, make sure your language is clear. <laughs>